Right, hello everybody. Um, today is going to be patina test day. Um, this is going to run on for several weeks, I think, because um, I want to try as many different patinas as possible. To start with, I'm going to concentrate on blue patinas uh, because I've got a few things that I want to colour um, that I've cast out of copper. Uh, a mask, um, an egg and my copper tree. Um, I'm going to try as many different patinas as possible. There's probably about 40 patinas that I want to get through. Um, so, like I say, this is going to take it's going to take a couple of weeks. Um, I'm going to use a similar method for all of them. So, I'm going to do three separate patinas today, and I'm going to do four specimens for each one. Um, what I need to do, obviously, I'm going to need to cut this pipe. I've got this pipe to use as a test. And obviously, I've, I've pretty much flat out copied this basically from a whole bunch of other videos that I've seen on YouTube. But the thing I have noticed is. You know, there's a ton of different ways to doing it, and you seem to get lots and lots of different results. So I'm going to run all of these at pretty much the same amount of time, probably for a couple of hours if I can. Um, but like I said, the first job is going to be to cut all these bits of copper down to, you know, a sensible length, probably something along those lines. I'm going to tape up the ends. Obviously, sand it. I'm going to sand this down because there's a coating on here that you need to remove to get down to the bare metal. Um, so I'll remove that coating. And then I'll tape up these ends here so that I can actually handle the metal. And then uh, and then I'll block up the ends so that we don't get um, patina on the inside. And we're just, just focusing on, on the outside here. Um, so today I'm going to do 12 patinas. Um, I'm going to do a... All of them are going to be in an ammonia fume. So they're all going to be in a container. They're all going to be uh, fumed, fumed with ammonia. First one's going to be... A flat ammonia spray the second one's going to be a vinegar spray and the third one's going to be a water spray and then each of those will be uh, one will have just plain salt i know that says cheese salt but it's just bog standard deiodized salt um, so that's the fine salt so we're going to try that one then we're going to do one with flaky salt see if that comes out any different and then we're going to do one with rock salt and see if that comes out any different. And obviously one of them will be plain with no salt at all. So we'll have plain, fine, slightly coarse and coarse. And then we'll see the differences between all four of those patinas. Obviously one sprayed with ammonia, one sprayed with vinegar. I'm going to use white vinegar. Uh, I will do another one later on with malt vinegar. And see if that comes out uh, with a different colour. Um, but that's the vinegar that we're going to be using to start with. This is the ammonia I've got. It's 34%. Uh, Absolutely stinks. You don't want to go anywhere near it. It's horrible. Can you see that? There you go. All right. Uh, to clean the metal, I'm going to be using acetone. So I'm going to sand it down and then clean it with acetone. Marigolds for handling the, the clean metal afterwards. Oh, and they're all going to go into these containers. So obviously I've got a separate spray bottle for each one. Next week we're going to do exactly the same solutions again, but this time we're going to dissolve, but next week we'll dissolve um, as much salt as I can in both in the ammonia, the vinegar, and the salt, and see if that gives a, a stronger, stronger patina. Um, so these will just sit inside. I'll cut some holes in this plastic, and these will sit in here. Pipes will sit on there, and then uh, and then we'll just crack on with the patina and see how we go. Cool. Right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn the camera off, uh, I'm going to get all these cut. So there we go, that's the 12 pieces we're going to try and do. All of these have uh, been sanded, uh, they've been sanded with 220 grit. Um, so hopefully that's got rid of all the coating that's on there. I'm hope also hoping the 220 grit, leaving these fine scratch marks in it, will help the patina adhere to the 
to the copper. Once I've cleaned it, I'll lay them on these. And then obviously I won't touch them again so that I don't get grease from my fingers on the, uh, on the copper. Okay, so now they've all been all been cleaned. A little bit of tape over the ends, just so that I can uh, pick them up and handle them, make things a little bit easier. Next job is to uh, run some holes in here, and we want to thread these about. Oh, anyway, so far. And to do that, I'm just going to heat up a nail till it's red hot and then just shove it through because the copper all sit on here and then we'll do a different different salt on each one that's the ammonia that I'm using Do that one first. Obviously, ammonia smells. It's very corrosive. Um, whatever you do, never mix it with bleach because it's lethal. Oh, that's not pleasant. Oh, that's burning me eyes. Oh, fuck. Oh, hang on, I'm going to go put a mask on. Oh, shit. Bugger. That's nasty. Right. That's a bit better. I'm going to get this done as quickly as I can, because it's horrible. Oh, don't spill it. Get a lid on that. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. Right, what's this one? Vinegar. Just like some vinegar in there. Right, that'll do. Okay, next one is water. Okay, might still be a bit muffled because I've still got my mask on because it still absolutely stinks in here. So Here's our three sprays. Okay, let me show you how this is gonna go down. So we've got we've got three fume chambers. This one's gonna we're gonna spray the metal with the water. Obviously we're gonna have ammonia soaked onto the onto the rag at the bottom. We're gonna spray all the metal with water. Then on the first one, we're gonna put nothing. On the second one, we're going to put fine salt. On the third one, we're going to put salt flakes. And on the fourth one, we're going to put rock salt. And we're going to repeat exactly the same, except we'll spray it with vinegar. And then we'll repeat exactly the same over here, except we'll spray it with ammonia. And obviously we're spraying it so that we can get the salt to stick to the metal. Let's take this mask off. Oh, I can still smell ammonia, but you can hear me better anyway. We're going to do this for two hours in total. I know the ammonia is going to be done in two hours. Spray. 
Let's give it a bit of a turn as well. So first one we're leaving blank, just water. Lovely. Oops. Second one, I do this quite carefully. Just regular salt. Second one, the third one rather, salt flakes, and then the third one, rock salt, ammonia. I'm going to put get in there. Whoa, whoa, that's not very nice. Get in there. And if I can get any, oh, this, this is horrible. I can't get near it. It's already making my eyes water. Can't stand over it. I don't know how the hell people do this. But that is bloody horrible. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, my eyes are watering like a good one. Number two. Is that a spray of vinegar? We'll give it a touch more. Make sure that's all nice and wet. Okay. And then again, we'll leave the first one. Second one, we'll put fine salt on it. Third one, we'll put the salt flakes on it. And the third one, or fourth one rather, we'll put the, put the rock salt on. I'm so glad I got a mask. I don't know how people do this without a mask. I don't know how people do this in their houses. I've seen people do this at home. How the hell do you do this in your house? Okay. Make sure I've got the lid ready. Okay, so another splash of ammonia. A drop in the middle. A little drop there. Like that. Lid, oh dear. Oh. That's that one. Now the last one, I'm not looking forward to this one. This one's going to be nasty. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. That is instant. Oh, my eyes. Oh, there. Right, so. Oh, I can't even look at it. Flaky salt. Rock salt. I haven't even put the ammonia in it yet. Look at that. Instant. I haven't even started fuming it yet. Right, I'm only here in.
glued on. Wowzers. What a horrible shit, man. Fuck it, fuck it. Right, oh, fuck me. Oh, that's horrible. Right, that's not buggering up my camera. Actually, I'll tell you what, before I go outside and get some fresh air, just, just water in a minute. Look, I don't know if you can see it, that's been about five minutes. I don't know if I risk taking this off at the moment. God damn. That's been about five minutes, and already you can see quite a significant change. That's the vinegar. Right, what I'm going to say, <laughs> if you're planning on doing this, uh, I wouldn't even consider it if the only place you've got to do it is in the house or, you know, this, this is bonkers, mate. This, the, the smell is just unreal. And when I say unreal, I mean, it's burning my eyes, it's difficult to breathe. I've put my mask back on. My shed stinks. Yeah, if you're going to do this, you really need to do this outside. Even with a fume chamber. You know, even keeping the fumes locked up inside that box. I've had to move the box outside. It's, uh, it's bonkers. So it's all out there now. The mad thing is, the colour's changing incredibly quickly. Uh... If you look at the one, this is the one on the right, it's the ammonia box. And if you look at the paper towel underneath, you can see the blue stains underneath it. So it's already turning, you know, it's already colouring it blue. If you look at the one with the vinegar, which is in the middle, again, you can still, you can see the blue stains on the paper towel under that one as well. And even the water, surprisingly enough, which I thought would be quite slow, but it's even showing some little bits of blue too. And like I say, we'll give that 15, 20 minutes and we'll bring it inside. We'll try and turn the metal as best we can. I mean, the weight's uneven, so it probably won't turn that well. But it doesn't matter because we're only after a sample of each one anyway, because it's the whole idea of this is to see which one we want to choose to uh, patina the tree. Now, there's a couple of other things I want to patina as well. This is one of them. This is a copper mask I made a while back. So, uh, I want to patina the front of that, but actually for this one I'm actually looking for a green-blue patina rather than just a blue patina. I want it to be green and blue. So uh, we'll look at that later on. I might even try and get some red in there. And also we're going to do the tree and then there's an egg, which is part of another video, which uh, hasn't been edited yet, but you'll see that in the next, next few days with a bit of luck. <laughs> 